up, you ready? Good. What's going on guys, welcome to my channel. What's going on guys, welcome to Amigos Code. My name is Nelson and in this video, I want to talk to you exactly how you shouldn't really be, uh, you know, concerning too much about coding instead of learning the actual, uh, you know, process or you know the actual knowledge right so i remember when i started programming um i was you know all the time you know worrying about how to implement things so i would go ahead and learn you know you know all the features of java uh, understanding all the best practices you know learn all the algorithms all the design patterns and the problem that i had with that was that i never used that so all of that, I've never used it. So then when I was faced with problems, what I ended up doing was pretty much just um, uh, not understanding, you know, what I wanted to implement. So I had all the knowledge about, you know, the, the, the features of a language, but I was lacking the actual process or the actual, uh, you know, gathering of the requirements of what I needed to do. So I'll just give you a, you know, a very quick example. So in my channel, I've taught you guys about Spring Security. Now, you know, it's good when you learn programming that you understand exactly what is happening, you know, what, you know the, 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 the overall picture of what you're trying to implement, right? So it's best for you to not worry about code as much as, um, uh, you should right because you know coding is just is just it's just uh, it's just something that you can you can do it right I'm pretty sure that you are clever enough and you can code anything that you want right so coding usually is not a problem and before I used to think that you know how many lines of code people used to write I used to ask people do you know what how many lines of code do you wrote for this project and people would say do you know what? I wrote like 20,000 or 3,000 and I was like wow you know but then what, what, what I realized was you know it's not so much about the number of lines of code but it's actually understanding the concept right so spring security for example or security in itself do you know exactly how basic auth works do you know JWT do you know OAuth what, what is the difference between them so if you know how it works right the actual concept then taking that and putting it into code will be very, very, very easy. Trust me on this. Um, another thing that I want to, you know, stress about, um, you know, when you learn programming is that, you know, don't just pick one language, right? Don't just pick one language and learn all the feature, all the design patterns, you know, all the, you know, for example, concurrency, you might learn concurrency and never use it, right? So programming languages, they are simply a tool that allow you to achieve something, right? Um, for example, you might learn Java, Java might be good for certain things, or you might learn Go, for example, right? So you can do, um, you know, pretty much almost the same thing as Java, but writing less code. The same with Swift or Python, so all of these languages, they, 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 they are there for different purposes, right? And to be honest, once you learn one language, then the rest of the languages will be very, very easy for you to pick up, I'm pretty sure. So the take out from this video really that I wanna stress with you again, is that do not focus a lot on coding, right? Try and understand you know the the you know what you're trying to achieve or what you're trying to solve you know what are the different parts what are the different puzzles that you need to put together because programming is about that right so if you if you are faced with a challenge and you try to implement everything in one go 
then I'm pretty sure that you will be overwhelmed and that's not the right way for you for you to do things what you should be doing is to what you should be doing is to you know understand different parts right so basically you take your problem and then you divide it into sub problems and then you solve one piece at a time right so that's what you should be doing so if you understand you know the domain and then you 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 split you know the problem into little parts and then you tackle one by one that way it will be much easier for you to achieve what you're trying to solve um, and also what you have to understand is as you grow right as a software engineer you know it's not so much about coding anymore right so when it comes to coding and implementation that will be very easy for you so you'll be actually looking you know for example you know reading the documentation that you know what you're trying to wait what, what you're trying to solve so for example if you are using someone else's api or you're trying to integrate with their or you're trying to integrate with their systems you know do you understand the documentation right do you understand the overall um picture of what you're trying to solve it will be much better for you instead of focusing on you know the syntax for example you know should i be using private should i be using final should i have interfaces should i you know how i'm going to structure the project so on and so forth so please if you are uh, one of my students or if if you have taken some of my courses i i always say that you know uh you should be you know first um, practicing as I teach so I always say that because that's the that's the best way for you to learn but also understand the problem right don't just try and learn the code and then take that same piece of code and then changing it according to your needs that's not gonna work and that way you won't learn anything I can guarantee you you won't learn as much as if you are understanding the full concept um, which is much more beneficial for you because coding, as I said, is just a tool, right? Like programming languages is simply a tool that allow you to, to solve a particular problem. So this is everything that I wanted to say for this video. Um, let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, also comment down below to see, you know, your thoughts. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to record more videos on different tips. Um, about software engineering and also if you have any any ideas or suggestions please let me know last but not least go ahead and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that the youtube algorithm picks up my channel and makes it one of the best channels here on youtube so amigos code you know that right here this is the place where i give you real world examples about software engineer right so i know what it i know what it takes and i want to share and give you guys the best advice for you to become a software engineer subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you on the next one see ya